Having a dog that barks a lot can be very frustrating. When many people are searching for a new addition to their family, barking is usually a trait that is considered. Do Pomeranians bark a lot? In this video, I cover all things concerning barking Pomeranians. Why do Pomeranians bark? What are the different types of barks? And how to deal with a Pomeranian that barks too much? So do Pomeranians bark a lot? Pomeranians are suspicious by nature with larger than life personalities. This can lead to a dog that is prone to barking. But don't fret, Pomeranians are very intelligent and can be trained to be perfect little angels. So why do Pomeranians bark? Pomeranians use barking as one of their main ways of communicating with people and other animals. Barking is just one of the many ways that dogs communicate vocally. They also communicate vocally through growling, whining, howling, whimpers, yips, pants, and sighs. Besides vocal communication, dogs also use many physical cues, head position, mouth shape, yawning, ear position, tail position and movement, body stance, licking, and sniffing. The last way that dogs communicate is through scent and pheromones. Dogs will use vocal communication, body language, and scent alone or in combination to communicate. How do Pomeranians use barking to communicate? In a moment, I will deep dive into the different types of barks that dogs use to communicate. But first, I want to share my experience with Pomeranians and how they specifically use barking to communicate. The most common types of Pomeranian barks, the excited bark. Pomeranians will often have high energetic, high pitched barks when they're excited to greet you at the door. My Pomeranians will greet me with cheerful barks whenever I return home. This greeting only lasts for a few moments and Pomeranians will also bark excitedly when playing. The guard dog bark. Although Pomeranians are small in stature, they are mighty in spirit. Pomeranians will bark in a rapid manner to warn you of any threats. The I'm the boss bark. Pomeranians think they are the boss. They might have tried to boss you around or other animals around in your house with a friendly little bark. The I want your attention bark. My little Pomeranian Willow is a perfect example of the I want your attention bark. She will casually walk up to you and stare at you while grabbing your attention with little barks. So what are the different types of barks? I'm going to discuss the different ways that dogs can differentiate their bark and what common dog barks mean. What are the ways a dog can vary his bark? Dogs can change the way they bark or vocalize in order to communicate more effectively. So what does a dog's bark frequency mean? There's a difference between a dog that is barking frantically at someone or one that is casually barking. The frequency of a dog's bark indicates the level of urgency and excitement that the dog is feeling and is trying to communicate. So what does a dog's barking pitch mean? A dog will use the pitch of its bark to communicate. An excited high-pitched bark may come from a dog happily greeting you at the door, while a deep growling-based bark can be a sign that the dog is sensing a threat and could become aggressive. So what does a dog's barking duration mean? A long drawn out growl or a deep bark can be a sign that a dog is thinking about how it's perceived and what its next move is. A dog that barks in quick bursts can be trying to tell you something that is urgent. So here's a breakdown of what the most common types of dog barks are. Rapid mid-range pitch barking, rapid barking with three to four barks pausing in between at a mid-range pitch, one or two high pitch barks, can continuously barking at a low pitch, a prolonged string of random barks, a single low pitch bark, a single mid-range bark, and a mid-range stuttering bark. What does a rapid mid-range pitch barking mean? A dog that is barking at a rapid pace at a mid-range pitch is usually using this bark to signal an alarm. What does a rapid bark with three to four barks in between mean? If a dog is barking rapidly in a pattern of three to four barks with a pause in between at a mid-range pitch, the dog is trying to alert others of a threat but is still evaluating what the specific threat is. What does a one or two high-pitched barks mean? A dog that expresses itself with one or two high-pitched barks is generally excited and happy to greet someone. What does a continuously low pitch bark mean? A dog barking continuously at a low pitch is expressing its fear towards a threat and is preparing to defend itself. What does a prolonged string of random barks mean? Generally, a dog that is barking occasionally over time is bored or lonely and is trying to get your attention. 
What does a single sharp low pitched bark mean? When a dog expresses itself in a single low pitched bark, they're usually communicating frustration. What does a single mid range bark mean? Dogs often use a single mid range bark when they are startled or surprised. What does a mid range stuttering bark mean? A dog that is using a stuttering bark and a mid range is trying to get you or another animal to play. This bark is very upbeat and very playful, and it can sometimes rise in pitch during the play activity. So, what causes a Pomeranian to bark excessively? A Pomeranian may bark excessively for a variety of reasons. The most common reasons are defending its territory, loneliness, and boredom. I'll also link a full article down below that I wrote on excessive Pomeranian barking. So, what can you do when your Pomeranian barks a lot? There are things you should do and shouldn't do when you have a yappy Pomeranian, so let's look at both. What should you do when your Pomeranian barks a lot? Communicate with your Pomeranian in a firm but pleasant manner to be quiet or say no barking when their barking is excessive. Use treats and voice training to teach your dog when to stop barking. Make sure that your dog is getting enough exercise and attention. Identify the triggers of the barking and try to reduce or eliminate them. So, what shouldn't you do when your Pomeranian barks a lot? You should never yell or physically punish your Pomeranian for barking. Avoid using bark collars. Instead, contact a professional trainer for help and reduce the amount of time that you're leaving your dog at home alone. So, what determines if a dog barks a lot? A dog that barks a lot is one that is triggered more often than others and responds with excessive or uncontrollable barking. The barking occurs so often that it may cause a problem within your home. Or your community. So let's look at 15 dog breeds that bark the most. Besides our fluffy Pomeranian, there are many other dog breeds that are known for being loud and vocal. We have the Boston Terrier, Yorkie, French Bulldog, Siberian Husky, Coon Hounds, Lhasa Apso, Akita, Quiche Hound, Australian Shepherd, Maltese, Bernese Mountain Dog, Alaskan Malamute, Beagles, Poodles, Pekingese, and Shetland Sheepdog. So, on the other end of the spectrum, what are the dogs that don't bark as much? While our Pomeranian might be on the naughty list, there are many breeds that are known for being quiet Italian Greyhound, Whippet, Pisenji, St. Bernard, Cavalier, King Charles Spaniel, and the Great Dane. So, even though Pomeranians are known as barkers, you do need to take that information with a grain of salt. Every single dog will behave differently regardless of its breed. Depending on your specific Pomeranian or the training that it's received, it may end up being a very quiet and well behaved or very vocal Spitfire. My Pomeranians have a natural instinct to protect us in our home and will bark to let us know if there is a threat. They will also cheerfully greet us at the door with a bark and sometimes vocally demand our attention. Overall, my dogs are not big barkers and will respond well with commands to stop barking. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy my next video on reasons why you shouldn't get a Pomeranian. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hug your palm today.